Hi everyone, it's Melissa with Word. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. We are a mostly secular homeschool and I have three children. They are seven, three, and one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what we read for two. So every month I try to just go and show what we picked up the library, what we read aloud. We've also, I think I've shown it a few times now, I'm sure I have. We read Sing a Song of Seasons yet. I really want to open the um, Tiger, Tiger, Burning and Bright, but I'm trying to make myself wait off until the start of the new school year, just so it's a brand new fun book for us to read. So the ring light's probably gonna cause a little bit of a glare, but. So there's a bit of a theme with this month's books that we got from the library. We have A Peaceful Garden, and it is just a simple read aloud book that we picked up. I can't remember where I picked these ones up from. I think they were the same type of like I Google searched good books to read in June type of thing. But these are about two little kitties that start a garden. And it's just cute and fun for the kids. The other book we got was The Curious Gardener. I think I've seen this one on YouTube a few times as well. I want to say it might have been Rooted Home in Life. Might have. I'm not sure. But this is just a book about a boy's quest for a greener world and he just one little garden at a time so curious gardener it was just a really cute little book and the things that he turns into gardens was just so unique and cute and the kids really enjoyed it Planting the Wild Garden. This is really just a cute little book. I believe it's done entirely like in pencil and watercolor for the pictures. And they're really simple little phrases. And they're beautiful illustrations. And I, if you've watched my what we've read aloud, you guys know that I'm kind of obsessed with really beautiful books. But it just kind of talks about gardens and how they plant themselves in the wild and that, like the journey of a seed to be planted on its own. Jack's Garden. You'll see seeds and seedlings, buds and leaves, trees and bugs, but and butterflies. And best of all, you'll watch the garden bloom in Jack's planted garden. It even has like this section with all like the bugs. Like it really goes over what's in a garden more than just the plants. Like what is all in a garden? There's bugs and weeds. I love how in here like it tells you what kind of cloud is what. The same thing on the other pages as well. Like when it goes over the bugs like it tells you what's what. Like it's very educational little book and I we really liked it. Planting a Rainbow. I like this book. It was a great board book so it was really great for my daughter, my youngest daughter, but it's you know it goes through all the colors. Order seeds from the catalog. They plant them. Warms up the soil. Oh it plants a huge beautiful rainbow garden. And my kids really liked it too. And it really helped with like color recognition. This is The Gardener. I saw this a few times online as books to read in like May and June. And I think I also saw it on YouTube as well. I want to say that was also one that I saw on Rooted Home Life. But I think it's just a sweet little book. It goes along day by day. He's been planting a garden on the rooftop. It's just a really cute book. I liked the book. The Ugly Vegetable. When a little girl helps her mom plant water and harvest their backyard garden, they do things differently from their neighbors. What grows in their garden looks very different. Instead of pretty flowers, their garden grows only vegetables. Plain, ugly vegetables. But when harvest time comes, the little girl and her neighbors discover how beautiful ugly vegetables can be. And I thought it was really cute, you know, how it's 
gardens are more than just flowers, but it's important to have vegetables. And then I thought it was really cute. There is a recipe at the back of the book for ugly vegetable garden soup. Up in the garden, down in the dirt. This is definitely a book I saw on Rooted Home and Life. So we went ahead and got it from our library. It goes through how a garden is underneath the soil and above the soil. And I thought it was really good and cute for my kids. And of course, as always, these videos are fairly short, but the books that we are reading in June, those are the picture books that we read this month. We are kind of winding down a little bit, taking a little bit more of a break, so we are not doing as much read-alouds as we would normally do. And we just did a whole thing on gardens and how fun they are. I'm doing the farmer's market with my mom, so we have a full garden outside. I will be doing a garden tour in a couple days for you guys to see, I think next week or the week after that'll be live. I can't remember for sure, but there'll be a garden tour. My garden is weedy and not perfect, so don't expect anything perfect, but I will show it to you guys. We also have a little bits of stuff on the porch as well and some things in my flower bed that we use in the garden as well. Like our lavender is in our flower bed, even though we use it obviously in cooking and for the farmer's market. That is all I have for you guys for today for our read alouds. If you guys, what are you guys reading this June? Please leave it in the comments below or what did you read for June? Please leave it in the comments below. If you like these kind of videos, please hit the like button. And of course, please subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming up for you in a couple days. You'll have a book shark video, another timber doodle unboxing. I get a new shipment on Saturday, I think is when it comes in. And then of course on Monday is the independence mini unit study that I put together. It's nothing too crazy, but I will be sharing that with you guys as well. Until next time.